Okay, uh, basically before I even go to the movie, I'm going to start with what you see here. I'm going to give you a brief explanation. Um, what exactly have I identified? Okay, listen to me. Um, this here is a Vizev. I can go here too and I can do not the same like here though, but I can... There is, I'm sure, a lot of information I have about, I, I was not there other than with a train one time I stopped. Uh, but, this, what you see here, this, this is pretty much what I have identified. This is basically the entire lodge, but what I closely did scan, because I was looking for employment, I live here right now. What I did scan very, very closely was the area toward here, okay? And so, because it's where the businesses are located and would go all the way down here, and all the way down here, this is a little, little store. And I entered little with a very specific reason. You cannot see postal office here, but this is like a main postal office right behind this little this is i also have the audio recording about okay posta polska i also have an audio recording about this one here this is really really important because i was brought here and i have described eventually have audio and video recorded demonstrated the same thing like i did for this is a closed place you cannot even go in there i went and signed in there by applying for employment for the job and this is how i got the opportunity to actually see uh, internal premises and got the confirmation from the people alone for some things about what went on and uh, in respect to renovation and stuff like that this is all the area all these businesses everywhere where Americans dragged me like let's say you put a dog on the leash you have a dog on the leash and he does not want to go for a dog, for a walk, let's say. I'm not a person like this at all. Uh, but let's say he just doesn't want to move anywhere, and the only thing you do is you pull him on this, uh, on this string from place to place. Like it or not, he has to go comply and see. One of the locations like this, there were several locations. Uh, one of the locations with this one here, Hotel Borovichki, which I remember was nothing and how the hotel grew up. This was also the place where we spent a little time working. They had people working there, Antic anticipated me I would go for a job here. Um, right across the street is like a business, like a little business center that you cannot even see here on the map. This is where this company is located. And this is what you're going to be listening for the most part. Uh, the audio is going to be, I am going to play you like not seven, but I think six days it's going to be uh, something like this of the recordings. And I explain exactly what was identified uh, in these recordings. As a matter of fact, I might even go and write everything down for the blog to make the claim, claim clear about what exactly was identified. Um, it's the most pristine, the most honest way basically is for investigators to see how I have through the memory identified whom. Uh, error, there is zero error in within this several days. There is no error and the memory goes way back all the way to 98, 97. Uh, when this business here, let me see, was located, when this business, look, they have like a little warehouse left inside, and I told them that it was first here, then it was on the location you are about to see, when this, when this business was still located here, look, there was a building here, no longer is, no. So this, this friendship with Donald Trump in respect to this company goes way, like, way, way, way back.
back in time. And I did manage to point out even this. Even this I managed to point out, which is according to the people alone, according to psychologists, according to the people that evaluated what how far my memory uh, could go, they did not believe that would be possible to that something like this actually claim like this is gonna come to life. And eventually it did. Um, the owner of the business, I just want to say thank you very much to all the people. I want to say thank you very much to him. I want to say thank you very much to owner, to the workers, to my boss, Peter. Uh, these are sweeter than sweet people, but despite, I should say, trying to do stuff they were told, they were ordered to do, I don't know by whom. Obviously, this thing went through Varsho, and yeah, they did heavily campaign. Um, they heavily did campaign for, okay, so basically, what was it? I think here to here. No. From here to here. Now, if I zoom, they heavily campaigned for other issues as well. Okay, so you don't even see it, uh, but yep, this is where we are at. So you have a whole bunch of businesses here. Uh, at this place here, they have gone as far as, you see, this was nothing at one time, and it grew up into this. They have gone as far as demanding me to work for free, like four hours, for them to see if I can. This was the place where Donald Trump was hosted repeatedly, oftentimes. Um, demanded for me to work four hours as a test for free, for them to evaluate if, um, in the kitchen, if I can. Uh, become their employee you know sick shit like this sick stuff like this characteristic for Donald Trump so they were trying they were testing my sanity basically what you see here this is yet another hotel that Donald Trump thanks thanks to Chris Chris is his son out of wedlock from Donald Trump and this is the individual that tormented this was this was the individual who who would pull me on a string like dog around with the idea that one day eventually I'm going to be thankful to them for this kind of stuff that is going to be eventually I'm going to be the one who's going to owe to Donald Trump for admitting the crime against me if I would be capable to bring to life um, describe everything that went on imagine this kind of stuff hey uh, that is a little bit unprecedented in my book. Like I said, I am not going to rest in peace until I get these people. Uh, just as has to be done according to the normal logic, according to the normal human mind. I did not become demented along the process, even a little bit. This place here, I have also identified by basically going inside the reception area and then describing um, where the human resources are located, where the administration is located, what it looks like, and on which side is. This is yet another one. All this area, all, the, all this that you see here. And the news is related to this stuff here. Kiss me now, you Nazi refusing to date. Vogue woman makes you dangerous and far right, apparently. This Lepotano was a young kid back then who also became, I don't even know his age, look, but I remember that he was young and very, I'm not going to say ambitious, but just, just a nonsense, just a nonsense garbage, you know, something like this Austrian, uh, far right Nazi in the Austrian government now this this Sebastian whatever his name is um,
came up with scenario on what happened was Americans loudly expressed repulsion for the girl that worked there uh, and they used her to blow the whole thing out of proportions like they tried to make me feel like a victim uh, in this whole thing by that um, you know if you would not marry me this and that and then you are dangerous and you are far right and this and that you see and at the same time you have this right here this fake feminists feminism is a great thing but these are just fake feminists and they're more dangerous than this nazi here right there for whom everybody knows he's a nazi try to create like invoke through this a russian media outlet like feeling for injustice in me is I was taken advantage of by Poland, by this Polish girl and stuff like this. Another trick Putin pulled was solidarity. The word solidarity, he associated one with leg Valenza, with breaking spine and with leg Valenza, solidarity. And so when Valenza mentioned the word solidarity, I, mean, I don't even know if he mentioned one. The only thing I know is the news would surface up during the mass when I had a problem with the spine and the next thing you see was MK Ultra brainwash related to solidarity and my broken spine and stuff like this sick stuff from Moscow but really really nothing new but it demonstrate this individual is British at least what I think he is uh, British it demonstrates what is his name i don't even know lawrence fox um a link just how powerful the link is between the moscow and between the buckingham palace what kind of stuff they have eventually uh managed to come up with and it's not even a british media that gets the job done for the Nazis in Britain and it's not even a Russian media that gets the job done for the Russian Nazis in Russia it might be a British or it might be American media the one that glorified Vladimir Putin and stuff like this so they all this stuff is all intermixed it's all messy and people don't understand really what is going on yeah, this was the stuff they tried to pull. This girl, this girl is actually a good-looking girl that is very much looks like my cousin from Slovenia. Um, that's all I gotta say in respect to this. It was like a desperate attempt to get me in back into this kind of crazy thinking really from the past i have nothing to do with this case closely 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 related to individual by the name of moraviecki mateusz moraviecki who was trying to get straight through this girl he was trying to get like apology i mean not apology but clearance for his corruption for his involvement in many cases with other sides outside of the poland this is this is a student from kaczynski kaczynski is his mentor you know this is where you have andre duda and kaczynski this is the same political party and this individual right here this is his mentor and so this individual right here did you see was trying to get through this girl some sort of clearance something for his involvement in this case which however is more than anything related to this other issue and this is the issue that Moravecki involved himself in 
through this political MK Ultra craze already in a very very early stages of MK Ultra. What he was doing is he was he he have stolen money from the Polish taxpayers by purchasing a piece of property basically over there for like ridiculous price back in time I don't even know when that was so he what he what he did was he wanted to get something he didn't want to he wanted to escape any kind of liability for anything like this and so it's like what better way to escape liability other than to position yourself like in a role of the victim and perhaps even have ability to judge someone you have assaulted someone you have subjected to mk ultra torture someone you have basically deprived of 25 years of life and that's basically myself this is what this is you're gonna hear it's got a lot to do with like a really really low play uh a really really low play I'm gonna demonstrate there is a Polish flag right there you're gonna see uh, and right there in that area they were throwing like really 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 low they were trying to kick like to create like really low throwing like really really low shots at me uh, related to MK Ultra brainwash and they were very very personal that went as far as uh, my being Slovenian and all kinds of stuff like you would not even believe I mean if you understand Polish uh, you're gonna enjoy this stuff because it's really really revealing still the people the employees they did as much as possible they possibly could do for me help me out identify them identify customers identify business and that's basically all that is matters uh, none of this here uh, did stop me from going forward or will stop me from going forward this is just whatever it is February 14 2020 it is today uh, this is about the job which I held from January, what is it, 20, 22nd, January 22nd to January 29th, 2020. Wow, I can actually not even believe that this was like three weeks ago I ended that job, employment, and I'm with a lot of pain in my spine, basically what I'm trying to say um, it's the job that gave me a lot a lot of undisputable proofs because I have recognized not only in this job but I have recognized the whole area business area business businesses around this location uh, my present location and all the way to mentioned employer and you're gonna hear me also with a report on a postal office where I was still and so on and so forth so like that job search endless job search which started in Zgir a few months ago and ended here in Lodge yielded one week of work uh, I should say income um, income for the price of uh, I, I should say income I don't know how maybe the real income is more proofs uh, but you know, I'm just really really skeptical about all this stuff I am I am very skeptical I am waiting wait I weigh everything I possibly can weigh I scale everything um, Obviously, Polish government wanted this thing to be like this. If they wouldn't want this, they would admit the case in Zakopane, Noviturk, when I released the video. That was in 2018. Uh, and instead of that, they pulled the whole thing into their direction. Uh, and it's now rolling down.
on the roads, give me the chance to go through everything I have gone through MK Ultra, and I have gone through MK Ultra through yeah, almost impossible to explain number of issues, almost impossible to explain. In previous video, I have spoken about <coughs> World for Kashia. If I do a little refresher, the son's girl uh, who became involved in this case and have suffered depression. And I understood even under her life. I have no idea. Uh, I think I have an idea how she did this. Uh, it was some kind of poison, something like this, if I am not mistaken. But again, I was not explained completely what exactly was it. Uh, people became concerned for me too. So the video where I'm going next, I'm not even sure if this is not. It is because it's it's. Just like, like I was talking to myself a little earlier, there were people that blamed me for the stuff. There was a lot of people who would do just about anything in the world to <coughs> redirect attention away from me into something else. Um, have heavily disagreed with and they would also do whatever it takes uh, for me not to be guilty. Uh, I should say feel guilty, of course I am not guilty, but still, uh, it's a good question, right? It's a good question where this conscience, where it starts, where it ends, uh, without responsibility for one. Um, and it concerns the girl in Zgirsh too, because girl in Zgirsh, <coughs> in many ways, just like this girl became involved in it and the next thing you see is uh, you know she becomes diagnosed with uh, schizophrenia uh, basically becomes whacked uh, becomes diagnosed with a paranoid schizophrenia and is suffering heavy health consequences uh, this happened to be a girl that I have no idea, maybe she was eccentric, maybe she was pulled into her own world with distorted reality she created about because of this case. I have no idea. The only thing I know is that this definitely is was more than just a bad dream. This definitely was uh, a heavy political negotiation, manipulation, and all kinds of stuff that went on uh, throughout this case. And I know so because of this location I'm about to talk to you right now, because of this job placement. It only lasted me a week, but it gave me a really, really super uh, idea about really the whole thing. Okay. I'm going to start with a gentleman, uh, he is, otherwise I would start with, um, of course, with the owner, with the manager and stuff like that, but that would be like a normal thing, since I am going to go into the direction of recognizing people, of course, uh, this is also the only way the whole thing would make sense, proves that I know what I'm talking about, but in this case, since I have talked about, touched previous video, pre two cases, two concerns right now, I will continue from there and the first person in this company that I'm going to touch is a gentleman who became obese, who gained a lot, a lot of weight. I'm not going to say his name, I am going to post the recordings uh, and more or less, you know, you're probably not going to know who he is, but I'm also not going to name anything like this, you're going to hear the recordings and this and that, I want to keep um, 
people's names, people identities is confidential. I do not want to go about revealing, uh, causing damage of any kind. I'm only here to help as much as I can. Do good for the people. That's all I have in my interest. That's all there is. There, there is no hidden agendas here. Um, and so, I know that the story about the girl that I mentioned, about both girls, uh, and even more people than this, is real because I know, because of this gentleman, I saw him with my own eyes. When I met him first, um, there must be a year, probably was, I have no idea, maybe it was 2005, maybe it was 2004, I, I don't know what the year was when we met first. This was a young man, he was lean, you know, completely opposite to what is now. And in this company, there was a girl that... Um, I would not find her as attractive and because of the stuff that like if I would go about my life I would not see her as attractive and because of the stuff they place in my head that not that I was compared with the Bezos and Musk I was told that stuff that's happening and definitely I was in all negotiations not even Musk not even Bezos were present in locations where I was negotiating with the people like huge store chain owners uh, defense industry folks all kinds of issues that you cannot even imagine I was brought in meetings uh, that I will be wealthy beyond uh, wildest dreams. And so there were women like you would not believe, and I'm not saying one, two, or ten, or hundred, or in every country they had uh, so many beautiful women, and they teased me, and they trolled me, and so and no wonder I became, with the time, because, you know, how can I say it? I'm not gonna say I didn't get any because it's a it's a it's a primitive way to express yourself. But um, yeah, it it gets heavy if you are trolled like this into something and then nothing happens out of it. And this stuff somebody would have done it to you like uh, so many times. It's the stuff that becomes annoying to you, and then uh, of course. It's no wonder that uh, you project uh, to your surrounding all kinds of uh, behavior. Uh, oftentimes, I'm sure, very disturbing and unpleasant and anything you possibly can. And so, when I started to insist that I will have to marry this girl, and whether I like it or not. And what is it with this girl? This is just a young girl, um, young Polish girl that did not appeal to me. And they started to push the whole issue down the throat. That this is just the way it is. And no matter what, that this is what it is. Along this stuff, they had Americans express disgust in her the people i was with chris other americans on the side did all kinds of stuff that this is it that this is eventually that trump came up with idea that a social engineering should actually in poland that is so disadvanced as a country that on the West, what they do through the social engineering, the people that are not appealing, they just remove them out of the existence, basically through the social engineering. This is how far the whole thing went. That the whole thing 
triggered even reaction from Varsho from Mr. Moraviecki, um, who got involved in this when he heard about this kind of stuff, became very, very sensitive, uh, felt somehow to have similar physique, to share similar physique with her, that the whole thing became totally, totally disproportional. And so if I go back in time to the gentleman, uh, the obese gentleman, like super, super nice, really, really gentleman that liked me and people that liked me in this business so much that wanted to help. And that I realized that sometimes in like, what was it? Maybe even 2013, 2015, absolutely was. That they started to express like a complete uh, repulsion toward me. Like me being like, um, so evil and I don't know what and this and that it was in 2013 and this girl must have been like really young girl which is not strange for this business because the employer gives the chance even to the students to work there uh, maybe just temporary uh, he gives them a chance to work like as a side job to finance their studies and so on. So, uh, yeah, I recognized her. And it was this guy that, that also was on a media, British individual who became involved in this case, uh, who smell this thing through Americans and as I have explained, Vladimir Putin cooperates with a neo-Nazi circle, with Donald Trump, with the Buckingham Palace. Half had simultaneously published news to the Russian media on how, oh, and I'm talking about the guy that is a narcissist, that see himself as a, as a, object of, I don't know, admiration of beauty, or like an Aryan, perfect Aryan man or something like this, who feels for himself that he is like sexual object in society and stuff like this. This is how he tried to project himself uh, and have created with completely fake feminist circle a completely fake feminists out there, folks. Completely fake feminists, completely fake uh, gay people, completely fake, you know, it's okay, just be what you are. Just be real, don't be fake. It's fake, it's what creates the worst of the worst. And I'm, I'm saying this to everybody, uh, Whoever you are in this kind of circle, if you see something fake people, stuff like this, know that you're in the wrong circle, that, that bad things are about to happen around you and it's going to go at your expense. And so it's this group of this ladies, uh, completely fake feminists that posted the news through the Russian media they posted on how um, he insulted a feminist because he did not go out with her because he did not kiss her and stuff like this because this is how far this shit went this is how political this outpost uh, this job search and that this outpost was to basically trigger in me a burst of emotional reactions uh, rejection and basically push me on a track of my evil, disgusting past. 
because when I'm thinking about that I actually did promoted Donald Trump that I that I want to stuff that I stood up for uh, it just makes me vomit really uh, I have not seen anything as despicable as disgusting as this individual he is anti-woman he's a rapist he's a child molester he's a fascist he's a Nazi he's the biggest evil I thanks God for him I understand uh, everything that was wrong with me and I do not even know because I always embraced women I I was never a person like this and I started to embrace without knowing what I was doing something that was never part of me and so in a way I'm thankful to Trump and so this was like a desperate 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 way they were trying to get me back on track they pushed this girl uh, out of nowhere uh, and so I did exactly the opposite of what they have anticipated um, she's actually a good-looking babe uh, kind of a, looks like my cousin from Slovenia at least now I know I have some uh, people in my family that, uh, that we do share uh, like really like Polish or like uh, DNA which is rather really a good feeling uh, and when I saw this gentleman this is this is like really really sweet man um, I felt really really bad about um, this whole thing and so it was all kinds of stuff they tried uh, this is the company this is the people that practically became wealthy because of they practically became wealthy because of Donald Trump because of the Americans because the good is they got they literally got them through connections which Donald Trump opened for them these are the people that we came in touch first probably it was year 97 98 this this goes like to early 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 beginnings first time is gears were in 95 late 95 just like mr. Dayan uh, a gentleman from Serbia who works in a pizzeria just maybe maybe 500 meters from her from here maybe a kilometer no I doubt it just down the road really here uh, explained me so I should say reminded me of he would not say that this is what it was of course but he gave the whole the whole beautiful refreshment did a whole refresher of me when we came and this and that and yeah I actually did point it out the location the old location of where business was located uh, prior to where one became located I don't know what the gentleman is gonna say but I I pointed out absolutely everything of course I recognized owner I recognized every employee and I have even recognized customers and I have even recognized they're really really beautiful employees they just had to do their part and it's like a lot a lot of issues that were involved I even believe that uh, some issues they wanted to use to make me feel maybe good about myself to not take too hard on myself there was a lot of people that uh, yelled at me like a state trooper would yell um, like let's say like a trooper would yell let's say like you're in the military or something like this or other people that started to yell on them and then it was other people that started to cry in front of them that they blame me and this and that it was all kinds of hysteria that one was a fucking mess this whole thing but I'm just trying to give an idea what this was 
Okay, the point here is that for me it was a good learning experience and, and it's yet something that, that, that has to be determined really where our conscience ends. Uh, I, I should say, where do we hold ourselves, how far do we hold ourselves accountable for the stuff we do? Should hold ourselves accountable for the stuff we do. I personally believe I have many beliefs. I still have to come to terms. How far this thing can go, how far you can blame yourself for. Um, of course, I shouldn't be brought to a foreign country for the stuff like this. But the thing is that also, uh, it doesn't excuse me from stuff that happened, bad stuff that happened to the people, to the young people in some cases, and it did. Yeah, of course, I'm determined to do my best. Uh, to help them out, but it's a really good subject. I did not know anything about MK Ultra when it all started. And the only thing I started, the only thing I thought about was just keep bringing me back, and it's going to be you who's going to be torn apart. You know, it's always the politicians that get away with it, they don't care. And it's the small people that pay the price. Eventually, they they have a government workers, in my opinion, to do follow up on them and tear them apart completely. Once they find something is too real to them or something, and this is so damn real, this MK Ultra, with the person in front of you dropped up and you can do with him, it's like a human toy, basically a live human being you can play with his conscience right there in front of you and there is actually nothing you can do to him and you other than you know use verbal assaults or to hear him fall and I was kicked I was smacked in my stomach uh, they hit they punched there was all kinds of stuff that went on there was all kinds of stuff that went on uh, I had teenagers hitting me in my stomach and stuff like that. There was all kinds of stuff that went on. Um, I'm not going to go into it because this is not this is not the area that I want to explore right now. Uh, in this video, what what is it? What you who was it recognized? Okay, the number one gentleman was recognized. The workers were completely identified. I actually pointed out the family links uh, between a couple. The first lady I wanted to date in this company was, of course, identified. Eventually, she become she became married with a gentleman who uh, well. Peter is his name, my supervisor would appear to him as a Zlatarenka. Zlatarenka is like a golden hand, it's like somebody that does, assembles, um, does a physical work like assembles drawers and stuff like that. Uh, otherwise, this is electrical company. How many people was recognized? Um, one, two, three, uh, yeah, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, probably about, oh yes, no less than 11 employees, and no less, okay, minimum 11 employees identified, and you're talking about several customers too. These are the customers that have been there for like a long, long, long time. Uh, and then 
their oil location was completely identified. Everything was identified with the first shot. There was no, there was no like second guessing or stuff like this. It was just like boom, 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 boom. Everything I said, and I shoot all the way back. Just like I've mentioned, we're talking about 97, 98. This first beginnings is when business was located first. Uh, and I'm gonna give you a video, a little refreshment of exactly what I am talking about. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna let play roll the video. And so actually the audios, and so if you want, because I don't know who, how otherwise to to prove the legitimacy of the witnessing accounts of these people is the best to just give you you know, for each day, roll you eight hours of audio, and you can hear yourself whether this is legitimate or not. Um, that would be like 40 hours I would have to go through and browse and listen and amplify and search for uh, basically for proofs and argument them to you, it doesn't make no sense to me. This is just 40 hours for the people, for, you know, for real investigators. Yeah, you're welcome to go through. As a matter of fact, one day I did scare you off, and that was the day when I was eventually even blamed for, um, because something had fallen down to me when I was working, and it's really that oftentimes I was just doing the stuff, working heavy work. This is pretty much what I was used for. I was not meant. This job was not meant to keep me around. This job was just meant to get, uh, to, to give me an idea where I was, this and that, and even try to manipulate me on my political opinion. They bullied uh, with American, with the German, and with the Polish issues and stuff like this, but they get uh, set in the right place real fast. And you can hear all that if you speak Polish. You, can, you will understand all this from, uh, it was very political, Kaczynski definitely related, but this is like 100 people get the right to get their opinion raised, voiced, and for that matter, to the issues, to the provocations, they anticipate the reactions, the uh, certain answers in return and so on for me. So yeah, this is what this is gonna be. This is what this is gonna be. Um, political politically politically motivated place with act mixtures of all kinds of issues on which this owners of this company, some people have believed they're gonna cash. Uh, they like I said, I have explained where the company, how the company became wealthy, how they got ahead, uh, and yeah, they did lobby. They did lobby for the foreign entities. They lobbied heavily for the Trump. They lobbied heavily for Macron, for the Merkel, and so on. There were this kind of tendencies, uh, and once this kind of tendencies, this is what this girl was used for, uh, did not work out because. Of course, I embraced her. You know, for the girl like this, uh, I just slit one battalion of this SS officers. To be straight with you, that this is nothing for me. This this kind of stuff, this kind of provocations, uh, I feel like really disappointed about that Russia allows Putin uh, to play with the stuff like this. This is just unbelievable. Russia never was at this kind of level. Uh, but yeah, they tried through all kinds of issues to get all kinds of feedbacks and then rationalize since they didn't get what they wanted to obtain from me. The whole thing is uh, seeing myself, making me feel myself like uh, someone like a traitor to the Poland. There was a Polish flag over there and stuff like this. It's a really good stuff, uh, something to go through, but 
Then again, it's not because they would want to do it. They know who I am. These people in this company love me. Every employee actually loves me. These people adore me here. And again, this was not the place where I was supposed to stay. And again, it was used to trigger the injuries, fast as possible injuries from the previous employment. Now, this is pretty much what this job was used for was to trigger all injuries as fast as possible, I have me identify area and also people, the business owner and so on. Perhaps I anticipate and what worries me is even something Donald Trump believed he could convince me. He could convince me actually, he, he could convince me somehow have benefited me uh, that U.S. government would let him get away with it. Uh, this is how I feel. This is just in vain for nothing. Donald Trump is wasting time. Donald Trump did not ruin my life. He ruined life of many other people. Uh, this kind of stuff is never ever going to happen. I am not going to rest in peace until I get him and his children, Ivanka, Eric, Jr. I don't care anything about grandchildren or his wives, but these people, these people are evil as it gets. Political outpost because sometimes in 2010, the latest in 2013, the latest in 2013. There was a burglary. Burglary into company. This is at least what a company owner reported me. During the burglary, I was brought inside of the company and I was brainwashed about certain issues for which I was told would be the picture uh, inside of the manager's office. I maybe got that somehow wrong, but then I have would have to go and listen to that over again, what I said, this and that. Um, it becomes the whole thing questionable because person and then that person very well could be the manager itself, uh, the owner. He instructed me that in fact is his child the one that he's got on the picture and at the same time have gestured me that compared to me that he is doing well and that I don't have the child, that I'm not doing anything about it, that I am not recording this stuff and about MK Ultra and stuff like this, you know, that he's got the child and I don't have one and that uh, um, just uh, stuff that hurts and it's from what I remember also was told that uh, it's the stuff that he told me that actually depressed me because I want children of my own so telling me that uh, he's doing better and I'm not doing better uh, and I'm not doing well because he's got a child and I don't have one and this and that uh, could also be a mistake on his part for which due to which reason he might have made up the story a lie about the burglary for which KGB was guilty on what the burglary, the KGB burglary, disappeared completely from the picture. Uh, there was nothing about the KGB burglary uh, anymore. But according to Americans, that it would be uh, the neighbor businesses um, that would know about one. Now the question, an easy thing to answer, is whether there was a burglary or not. Uh, is just would be for me really to go and investigate the businesses in the area, ask them 
about it. That's one thing. And the second thing is, if he did have a child, if he did have a baby, um, in 2010, let's say, uh, that basically would have been uh, definitely explained. Um, and that baby, I think, was a girl. Then it would that thing, the whole thing would explain that either he lied or he told the truth, you know. Pretty much when it comes to stuff like this, even on an ultra, when you're when someone is told something, uh, if that person is rational or logical enough, you can go ahead and you can investigate in time and get to the clues in the situation like you would not even believe. Okay? I am one of those kind of people. This is where I am coming from. Uh, and so, no, I did not make a mistake about that. He came up with them with a completely different story. Um, some story that, that uh, I don't know, that he was in the club, whatever. Uh, that actually would be like the only mistake that I had made in this whole company. So that this is where it gets fishy. Uh, but out of that, everything is clear like a mountain stream, if you ask me. Therefore, it's a job that should leave me a little bit more emotionally hurt um, from this job I proceeded for endless health examinations and still did not manage to report myself uh, for official job search at the Polish State Employment Agency when I was there boy for about already five times as you know at least at minimum and it just somehow it never came through the way it should Actually, I think I was there like six times for funny reasons. Uh, but really, uh, when it comes to this world for Kasia, uh, the gentleman in this company, this gentleman loved me so much, he really did. This is not a lie. He was like my fan, and it was few other people like this too, uh, that when he changed his mind sometimes in 2015, it was in 2015, sure it was in 15, um, became angry with me, I start today, I understand that uh, and he was not the only one, it was, it was, it was quite a few others that a choice I have made on an MKUltra, even if it was MKUltra, even that definitely is a torture, uh, were just completely unnecessary and wrong choices. That's all I gotta say. Still, it didn't give me the right to hurt people. That's all I wanna say about uh, this video. And sure that I am happy that I met these people in real time. Every time when I meet these people, um, it's like this, all this stuff that went on on MKUltra, it's like people manage to penetrate through your conscience, somehow in your soul, that they have left like really, really deep marks uh, in me, inside of me. And when you analyze this uh, stuff, I don't know if it makes you a better person or whatever, uh, but it definitely helps you understand the world a little bit better. So, the last person I guess I would want to lose as a fan would be this, this, this guy who became obese in this company. This is a really sweet guy, really, really nice guy. Everybody in this company is really, really sweet really good people. Um, this kind of stuff that I was given, all this banting, twisting, all kinds of stuff, this montage, it was all kinds of stuff that went on. You're gonna hear giggling and laughing and this and that. And it's the stuff that I was told what I'm gonna be doing and how they're gonna be laughing and all that kind of stuff. You can imagine that uh, somebody would be saying to you, let's say, you're going to be going and you're going to be doing this kind of stuff over there. 
uh, on the yard in a workshop and I'm going to stand next to you. I'm going to be watching you and laughing you and this and this and, and we're going to be watching you and this and that and you would go and you would perform work. That already would be unpleasant for you, okay? No, but if I did subject you to MK Ultra and I would do the stuff like this, then it would be very, very, very unpleasant. Yeah, it was quite some cables that I moved in this week. I did quite some work. But really, really nothing compared to what I could. Um, it just demonstrates just how much my health really deteriorated, spine-wise. Uh, this really, really was a bad, badass injury. Okay, so this is this is a really good explanation about this week. I had to do it. Uh, I didn't have any other option other than to do it. My last girl, the customer, had a affair also with the Peter, who was my immediate supervisor. Um, it's all kinds of stuff that went on, and it's all kinds of stuff that I remember, and it's all kinds of stuff that I can tell. And area-wise, I can even tell which business went to life when behind this shop. So all if you have a time, all you got to do basically is listen uh, to these audios. Uh, go ahead, amplify them yourself if you want. Use headphones or whatever it is that you want. It's 40 hours, I'm gonna roll down. And that's all I can do for you in this case. Of course, these are more than legitimate proofs about MK Ultra in Poland. And this one goes before even some of the oldest employees. Uh, really all the employees have really stayed with the company for some time. Uh, and got the jobs. The, I knew that knew this owner that we were there and so on. This goes way, way, way back in time. And he goes in area interacting with other people too, with a hotel owner. Did not even have a hotel yet and stuff like that. Grew everything out of nothing from the guests that would come uh, to this area to meet business people basically to do business with Eastern Europe. The one who also was on a plate, the one who also is going to get fried, was my little psychologist, this, this girl that had fallen for me, that participated in this MK Ultra, I'm not going to say from beginning, but since her early beginnings in the field of psychology, okay, so, you know, um, I was called and goat and all kinds of stuff. Okay. just like I was promised I would be if I would still stick around her and want to be with her and this and that uh, it was a political stuff uh, this is a political stuff uh, they asked for too much they tried and it was just like I'm going to say like a maybe the last like desperate attempt to push me away to get me away every job i was they had their babes over there you know um i was actually given a confirmation that just as i was told on mk ultra it's going to be that they're gonna lobby for her and this and that, but at the same time that it, it, it's it's the recorded music, that it's all the recorded music. There's nothing this little girl, this psychologist, will not blame for. Okay, so they lobbied for her, but I just had to know whether I like it or not, and I get the confirmation about it that music was uh, recorded. Uh, pre-recorded that everything was recorded and it was about the love and this and that what I can do is maybe one day I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna take the go over this recording I'm gonna sit and for every step I'm gonna give the explanation how basically I was brainwashed 
on every song actually you're gonna hear some songs really provocative in a provocative way there's one day actually is missing out of it and i'm even sorry actually i did try to cut him out and i did that deliberately uh because i was blamed for something that had fallen down when i was working when i was moving and it's basically when i lost i'm not saying i lost a temper but i explained to the individual that rather than sitting and doing nothing observing how i work waiting for something to fall down this and that he should perhaps also try to work do his job and stuff like that this is something i didn't want to want to uh you know to be transmitted i don't want to you know call him lazy and stuff like that but other than that everything is here everything is within reach and you can hear yourself uh, how it is and most of the time when we were told that someone was doing stuff like this campaigning for a her and stuff like this it would be done in a really really wrong uh, context this is why maybe you would say it's questionable how much you know manipulation lies all kinds of stuff how much you would be liable for other people's lives that are affected by this kind of you know by anti ultra procedure but i firmly believe that i am i'm a human being and what what makes us different from animals basically is our conscience and our ability to detect uh, to be concerned for certain issues, to be sensitive for certain issues. So if you don't have that one, and I believe that without the honesty, a personal growth probably is impossible. I'm pretty sure about this. Um, without being honest with yourself, um, then you know, I'm also not worthy then as such, and it would make no sense for me to transmit this thing nothing to learn from so. now this is really all I have to say about this this